Will Neymar remember me? Will he remember the shoot? Or will it be a complete blank? Will he have completely forgotten me? No, I don't play safe. Never. <laughs> I imagine the pressure for Jeremy Lynch of playing alongside Neymar. I enjoy the game. I enjoy it. Where do I start? Neymar Jr. Jeremy Lynch! <laughs> What a moment, what a guy. Well played Jeremy Lynch, well played Neymar. This is a really big moment. I think you need to be more like Neymar. Yes. Neymar's been one of my favorite players from when I found out about him years ago when he used to play for Santos. Neymar, absolutely incredible. Neymar, brilliant skills, teases everybody. I would say that stylistically he is actually my favourite player of this whole generation. The way that he does skills and tricks in a game and just doesn't feel any inhibitions, he just expresses himself freely like a true Brazilian skiller. I remember when I showed Santos in that moment, I showed some clips, 10 or 15 clips on action from Neymar and I saw, I remember I told him this is the king of Santos and all the players was with the, the mouth open said, oh my god, what a player. So when I got the invitation to fly to Saudi Arabia to game with Neymar, sat beside him in front of a live audience, I couldn't believe it. So I've just got on a flight, uh, waiting to take off, about to fly to Saudi Arabia for the Esports World Cup to game with Neymar. I cannot wait for it, I'm going to be on Neymar's team. I've actually filmed with Neymar before, this was about maybe eight years ago with F2 and to this day whenever I'm asked what was your favourite player shoot, I always say the shoot with Neymar. We had one hour on a pitch to just have fun, have a kick about and just vibe with the football and we did lots of different videos, lots of different concepts and uh, we actually got to know each other a little bit as well and it was just really nice. So as I'm at the airport ready to fly to Saudi Arabia, I'm wondering to myself Will Neymar remember me? Will he remember the shoot? Or will it be a complete blank? Will he have completely forgotten me? I don't know. On the plane, I met this Al Hilal fan, funny enough. So, by chance, sat next to Ali, just, just met her now. She is uh, an Al Hilal fan. And uh, I just said, I'm on the way to film with Neymar. She said, no way. She supports the team. Yeah. I said, uh, Al Nasser, your rival? She said, yes. So I have a question for you. Yes. Have you ever watched Al Nasser play Al Hilal? Of course. Did you boo Cristiano? Did I boo him? Yeah. I might have. No! I didn't actually Okay, we, we can't be friends. We can't be friends. <laughs> I like, you know, I love him. I love what he's done to the, like, the country. Yeah, he's done amazing. Right? Yeah, I, that's what I love. I love that he loves the game. Yeah, yeah. So but you like, still booed him? I mean, I couldn't really boo. I just... He does a lot of things in game that are annoying. Nah, he's the GOAT, man. He's Cristiano. <laughs> you got to put some respect on his name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you don't think Messi's the GOAT. I think Messi and Ronaldo are both the GOAT. Both the GOAT. I, I love them both. Yeah. yeah. I used to be uh, more yeah. a Messi fan before Ronaldo <laughs> became... Uh, yeah, he came to Saudi. Yeah. But now it's changed. I feel like they're the same. Yeah, okay. Can we do a deal? Yeah. All right. Shake on it. You can never boo Ronaldo ever again. <laughs> okay, I'll never boo Ronaldo again. <laughs> yes! Deal! <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> Job done. Mission already a success, even before the plane was landed. So that's it, got through customs. We're officially in the country now and on the way to the Esports World Cup. First official step on Saudi soil. It's not soil, but Saudi turf. It's not turf either. Saudi pavement. So we landed in the evening. I went to the hotel, got an early night's rest because it was a big day tomorrow. So I woke up feeling so excited because today was the day that it was all going to go down. <laughs> so we're just about to leave the hotel now to head to the venue. I'm super excited. Honestly, I'm going to get to the film with Neymar again and I cannot wait. So we're going to jump in the car, head to the venue and let's get it popping.
We left the hotel and headed towards the Esports World Cup venue. And as we got to the venue, honestly, it looked incredible. Here we go, the Saudi skyline. This is one mad place we've ever been. Here we go, we're at the venue. This is crazy. Ha! The Esports World Cup. We here, baby. We here. So we're going for a quick tour of the venue before we actually go inside. It already looks crazy, but we're gonna see some things. I have not been to Saudi since the Saudi revolution. So many screens. Everywhere you look, just screen. Here he is, the main man. They're advertising on the screen behind me. Look at that on the big As much as I was excited, I was also nervous because I'd never played Rocket League before in my life. I know, it's such a good game and I'd never really played it. I only downloaded it the night before traveling just to try and get a little bit used to the controls but that's never going to be enough. On the other team was going to be players that have put over 10,000 hours into playing Rocket League, so the odds were absolutely against me from the start. But I was never going to let that deter me. I was going to do my best, and we had a secret weapon. A significant figure in the Rocket League community, the most subscribed YouTuber as far as Rocket League content is concerned. A guy called Musty. He's an absolutely brilliant Rocket League gamer slash creator. And my plan was to get him to teach me some tips and tricks and give me a coaching session before the big game. So in here is the training room. So we're just going in to get some practicing before the main game on the main stage. I'm trying to sharpen up and I've got Musty, who's gonna be our best player, let's face it. How are you guys? I'm doing great. I'm Musty and I'm going to teach Jeremy what to do. Come on. I'm super happy to have him on the side. Powerful player. So I'm not sure if me and Musty got to the venue a little bit before Neymar or he was away doing like media obligations, but it worked out well because it gave me time for Musty to teach me some key skills when it comes to Rocket League. So I'm really happy that there's a practice room because I can get to sharpen up. So you can see that I, I can play a little bit. Can you see the screen on it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, I, I mean, this is straight. I don't even need to look and that's it, done. Oh, no! Close, 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 close. The crossbar oh, challenge. I knew I should have slowed down. Are, are you nervous? Are you hype? Have you ever met Neymar? Yeah, I've met him before. I'm, I'm not too nervous, but I want us to do well. Yeah, it, I, is I, he cool? Yeah, very cool. He's super cool. He's okay. super chilled. That's good. Um, yeah, I just don't want me and Neymar to just be so weak that our yeah. team gets smoked. Because yeah. I know I'm not worried about you at all. Yeah. That's why I'm here to train, because I want to try at least be competitive. 100%. Okay. You, see this thing, use item. That, in Rumble, you have different items. So you're going to click this whenever you want to use it in the big match. Right. Okay. okay. But right now, we're going to learn the basics, then we're going to get to the items. Okay. After my training session with Musty, I must admit, I'm feeling a bit more confident at this point. Obviously, I'm never gonna be pro standard, but at least I was starting to feel a little bit more comfortable with the controls of the game. How did you do that flip that you did? Okay, that's a, that's a great question, that's a great question. So go, yeah, go ahead and just stop your car, stop your car. So, you move this, like this, and then double click. Just straight forward, there you go, that's a flip. So whenever like the ball's in front of the goal, that's that's how you want to flip, oh, and you can do side to side. Okay. You, you, that, you seem like intuitive at that already. Like this is gonna take you like a hundred hours to even learn this. I wouldn't really bother with it. It's like you know, it's the same way you are in soccer. It's yeah. just me and Rocket. Okay. That's literally it. That's okay. literally it. So as we were waiting in the green room, just practicing and getting warmed up, Neymar Jr. walks in. <laughs> so he greets everyone in the room and I happen to be the last person that he greeted. How are you? 
How you feeling? Family good. I had to sell a little baby boy. One year. So best. Best. How are you? And when he greeted me, I could tell that he did actually remember me. And the first thing he asked was, how's the family? Which is unbelievable. Neymar Jr. It's been so many years. And I wasn't sure if he was going to remember. But he did. And it was so nice. He's good. Are you playing? But what a moment. What a guy. <laughs> and at this point, all the nerves have gone away. I'm just feeling super pumped to be here and excited to get on that stage and game with Musty and Neymar. I am number one. I know Neymar Jr. So it's almost time for me and Musty to enter the stage. for Jeremy Lynch of playing alongside Neymar in the Rocket League must be massive so he's gonna have to swallow that one down and try to ignore this. And at this point I'm tingling with excitement. You know when you just have this sense that this is a really big moment and you just try and take a second to just pause, breathe, be present because these type of moments don't come around every day. So we were waiting in the area to enter the stage. We're standing there for, for a while and then... Even as I'm sat here right now, entering that stage, getting greeted by Neymar and standing on there as a team, me, Neymar and Musty, it feels so surreal, when I, even when I just think about it. What a moment, what a moment, what, what an incredible day, what, what an incredible memory. So then we entered our stations, Musty tweaked some of the controls because he knows all the, all the pro settings and uh, that's what he'd been coaching me on. Oh yeah, yeah. They're gonna bring, they're gonna bring. So we're just setting up, we need a, I need a control pad, because come, come over, come around here. You can see that at the moment, it's just a PC setup. Um, but I, <laughs> I need a control pad, because I'm new to this game anyway, but without a control pad, I'm absolutely finished. So, yeah, <laughs> just waiting on that. Musty, are they getting the pads? Okay, the funny okay. thing is, Neymar actually played the game for the first time on the same day that I did, which was the day before the event. You can see that Neymar's just behind me. He's warming up. And uh, we've got team coach as well. The little, the little man's actually good, so he can help give some tips and advice, and he might even jump on in Neymar's seat a little bit towards the end of the game. Um, but yeah, go and have a look at Neymar warming up. I think he's played it before. But he was probably thinking the same thing as me, just to get a little bit comfortable with the controls before being on a stage performing live. It was quite funny. We, um, we were both in the same boat. We knew we weren't going to be the strongest players on that stage, but we were going to give it our best shot. And both of us are definitely competitors. So we were going to try our best to see if we could get that W. Just doing the settings and preparing to play Rocket League against MF Dossery. Those guys, I saw them warming up earlier and they can all play. So we could have some problems. And it was time to start the game. Oh no! 
So the game started and pretty quickly it became clear that our opponents were very strong and this was going to be an uphill battle. Oh no, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. See Neymar waiting back in the net. If this one comes towards him, how does he serve it? Oh. No, he does well. Oh. Has he shot that for his own oh. Oh. Come on, come on! Is that going to be a stop, Neymar? Come on! Woo! Let's go! What a moment when Neymar scored. We celebrated. I celebrated like I scored myself. I was so happy for him and just so happy to be there and so happy for the team. It was just such a cool moment and you could see that Neymar was super happy about it as well. Come on! We can score! Oh, I missed it! That must be so frustrating for you, Musty. Yes! Musty! Oh. <laughs> well done, guys. Oh, two more. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So first game down, we lost 4-2, I didn't manage to score, but we've got another game now. I think we might have two more games, so hopefully we can get a goal and we'll see what happens. We need to win, come on guys, <laughs> come on! So here we are, I think, TRKO, oh, oh boy, uh oh, get that, <laughs> oh what's this, hello, oh, oh, two. So the game ended, Neymar managed to score two goals. I didn't actually score, which I was a little bit disappointed by, but I can't expect too much. I'd only played it for the first time the day before, and I was still just on cloud nine for the opportunity and pinching myself at what had just happened. Finish? They're too, too strong, too strong. We need you. <laughs> it's tough, they're professional. The crowd was super receptive and we could feel the positive energy towards us. I think the crowd wanted us to win. We didn't end up getting the W in the end. Fair play to our opponents, they deserved it. Hey, congratulations, <laughs> well played. Very good, well done. Very good, nice game, nice game. so good. Ah, they did good, they did good. That was tough. So after the Rocket League match, we left the stage and I had to prepare to film some more with Neymar in a different section after he finished competing uh, with the other games that he had to play. So that's it, the Rocket League segment's done. Now they move on to Tekken 8, I think it is. Uh, yeah, we got smoked, <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, but what an experience. What an arena, how cool was that? And Neymar managed to score two goals for the team, so what an, wow, what a guy, what a guy. I really want to score at least one. It's what it is, isn't it? Couldn't get it. So I'd been given 10 minutes to film with Neymar and just create some content. So I had to present some concepts which all got signed off and uh, we had some pretty good ideas lined up and I was really excited for this. So after Neymar finished with the games on stage, he came into this other area and he was doing different bits of media. 
There were a few people who had time with him before me. I think I was third or fourth, so I had a little bit of extra time to prepare and make sure that I had everything clear in my head of what I wanted to do and what we wanted to get out of the shoot. But yeah, we had 10 minutes and you have to make those 10 minutes count. But I've been doing it for a long time, so I'm used to it. I'm very comfortable in those situations. That was tough, man. Good. Good man. So our slot came and it's very organized so they tell you that you're on the clock and then you you cannot go over your time. That's very important. You have to respect the schedule. My baby, my, my son. Congratulations. Congratulations. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. That being said, it felt really relaxed. We'd already spent time gaming on stage, we'd already caught up a little bit in the green room beforehand. It was very comfortable and the vibes were unbelievable and we got some absolutely incredible content which I cannot wait for the guys to see. It's not been released just yet, but it's coming soon. I try to do this in the game. Oh, yeah. I try. For you. You, you. you will try? I try, I promise for you. Because I don't want to get you in trouble. Yeah, no problem. I don't care. It's okay. It's um, my opinion. True, true. It's my opinion. Good, good, but I like more things. You know, when I play in games, everybody knows I do the skills, yeah, yeah. but I find I play safe too much, yeah. and I always think. You need to be more like Neymar. Yeah. Because no, I don't play safe. Never. Care. Yeah, you just have to. Yeah. And I enjoy the game. I enjoy it. So after we finished filming, I said goodbye to Neymar and the day came to a close. Hello. Thank you so much. Oh, nice to see you, man. Nice to see you too. Good pleasure. Yeah, thank you, thank you, man. Keep you inspiring too, man. me and you. Okay, thank, thank you so much, man. Thank you, you too. What an incredible experience. I'm still pinching myself now when I think about it. And I've definitely got some unforgettable memories from that day. Can't stop smiling thinking about it. because I always had a feeling that I would film with Neymar again. A little bit like with um, Will Smith, where for years I just had a feeling that I'm going to film with Will Smith. I don't know how, I don't know when, but I just feel like it's going to happen. And maybe there's some manifestation there as well, but it, it's not being deliberate. I just expect that something's going to come, an opportunity's going to come where we're gonna get put together and we're gonna do something cool. And I had that same feeling that I had with Will Smith, with Neymar, even though I'd already filmed with Neymar before, I always felt like we were gonna to film together again. And to be honest, I still have that feeling now after the shoot. So don't be surprised if me and Neymar end up filming together again and making some more content for the people.